that whatever we read is going to to make an impact on us okay why because books they give you a room for imagination painting a picture in your brain mm -hmm. because sense of whatsoever that you're actually reading you're giving the mind the room to create a scenario on yeah. what exactly you'll be saying seeing like visualizing things that you're actually reading so all i say if if you're trying to teach me first thing i want to know how much have you done with what you've known me? meaning if i want to learn something i need to go and find someone who's doing it because mm -hmm. i know they know 90 of what they need to know about that subject because they know what it takes to get it done. Back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Noza Properties, the podcast, and we are broadcasting live from Johannesburg. This is Noza Properties, the podcast, and getting better and better every day. Um, learning from other people's mistakes, learning from other people's experiences, and learning from other people's um, I said experiences, mistakes, and information. And today, when you sit down, you know, we are speaking about education. And we are not speaking of anything different uh, today. Uh, we are speaking about education. Mr. Don, how are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm okay, man. I'm, I've, I've been trying to, I've been trying to to hang in there. <laughs> Things are not easy, but we are trying to hang in there. Yeah, that's basically what we have to do because yeah. it's like we are black people on this planet Earth. Like I said previously. Sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, thank you for chilling me. Um, again this week um, and today we're speaking about education um, just basically um, um, what we did speak about before but we're trying to expand on that just tell me a bit um, what are we going to talk about today um, through the whole session okay uh, basically what we want to talk about today is um, yeah for, for I remember the previous uh, time we talked about the truth and the lies that lies in the whole world called education yeah. and how we take it as a community sure as the whole society whole and uh, the concepts that we actually have about it and it's terrible that most of the people they don't even know the truth behind it you get a sense and what sure. is actually meant and designed for yeah. so that's the truth and everything that we really want to highlight about that so sure. basically we want to talk about um how uh it's being used into our daily lives mm. and then um, how do we subdue to it and work under it because basically it's a system the system needs uh, like the pawns sure. on the board sure. so that they can play their part so mm. that it will be called a system so we really want to talk about that and how it influences our daily lives and what we've been taught and uh, the truth behind everything that we have been taught sure sure mm -hmm. i understand um so so today um this is this is one of the episodes I'm going to be really quiet and listening because the concepts that you are bringing today, um, they're powerful. But most of the times, this is where I'm like, I need to sit down, listen, and, and, and try and grasp the concepts that you're saying. This is where people are going to see how stupid I am. <laughs> and this is the, the episode where they're going to see that sometimes, or not sometimes, we don't know a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know a lot of things, but um, um, this is where, this is an opportunity for us to learn. As you know, what we always say in the mission of this podcast is to learn from other people's mistakes, learn from other people's experiences, and today we're learning from your information. And we also like to, to thank you so much for, for taking your time um, and, and, and um, what's the word, and, 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 and sharing your information with us. Sure, anytime. So today, yeah. So today I wanted to share something with you ne? and mm -hmm. also with our listeners of, of, of the podcast, right? There's something called, as you see on the screen there, is mm -hmm. something called a, a a a cone of learning right mm -hmm. this was shared by a man called edgar dane okay. edgar dane in uh, 1969 and you'll see i'm um, the first time i learned about this cone of education as when i was reading this book the second chance um mm -hmm. by, by by robert kiyosaga i think i've learned a lot from this book and it's one of the books that we are going to to review on this podcast but uh, the cone of learning just explains um different ways ne, that people learn ne? that's what it's that's what it's doing but on, on 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 my aspect i've used it to sort of find people that are that 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 have the capacity or that i want them to to teach me right so if you see them you see on that on that board there there are there are active people 
and they are passive people, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, there's an active way of learning and there's a passive way of learning. Mm -hmm. So what this explains is that um, people who read, who learn through reading, mm -hmm. they can only remember 10% of what they have read, right? So people who learn from hearing words can only remember 20% of the words that they have read, right? So my Kubega eating, um, people who look at pictures can only remember 30% of the pictures that they've learned, right? Mm -hmm. So we will find also Uvu Sitim Gawi says something like, um, just because you have read about swimming does not make you an expert in swimming, right? So when you continue there, these are still passive people, right? So people who, looking, who are looking at an exhibit, who are watching a demonstration, can only remember 50% of what they've learned, mm -hmm. right? So people who have seen um, it being done on location, meaning you are doing it mm -hmm. and I'm looking at what you're doing, um, those people can only remember 50% of what they have learned. Yeah. So there's a passive way of learning mm -hmm. and there's an active way of learning. Then the second portion is people who give a talk mm -hmm. about a topic can remember 75% of what they say. Right? And people who participate in a discussion mm -hmm. can remember 50% of what they've spoken about. I mean, they can remember 70% of what they've spoken about. So from these two people um, from you, which person would you prefer to learn from? The, the people who have learned passively or the people who have learned, um, people who have learned actively? How would you say actively? Actively, right? Because yeah. they remember more of what mm -hmm. they have learned, right? Mm -hmm. Here's, the, here's the, the beautiful part about this code of learning. The last session is people who are doing the real thing can remember ninety percent of what they of what they have learned. That's spectacular. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. So it's it, it's one thing that I've seen usually. People read books and they know ten percent of, 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 of the whole subject that they were speaking about. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, and they think now they have the right to teach us. So I always say, if if you're trying to teach me, first thing I wanna know, how much have you done with what you've known? Because if you've only read, you don't know. But I don't know anything. Yeah? So, 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 so my teachers that I try to teach and people that you always see that um, come on the podcast just like you, mm -hmm. I always try and use this cone of learning. Even though it's cone of learning, I use it to find people that can teach me. Meaning if I want to learn something, I need to go and find someone who's doing it. Because mm -hmm. I know they know 90% of what they need to know about that subject. Because they know what it takes to get it done. Do you get my perspective? I get it. I've listened to a lot of people also on, on, on social media. They talk and talk and talk, talk a lot. But when you look at what they are talking about, you'd find a good thing. They're not doing any of those things. And it has been also um, my, 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 my concern. Mm -hmm. I know what we're going to touch um, here on, the, on, on, on today's episode. We're going to touch on churches, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 and that's something that worries me a lot about people in church. They blab a lot. They, they, they check a lot, but I'm not doing anything with what they know. For for me, church people, most of them, not, not all of them, of, of course, mm -hmm. they don't know what they're talking about because they've only read the book. They have not practiced and found out whether what I'm talking about, is it possible to do or not? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So this is just what I want to share with you today that um, um, um and also the people who are, who are listening, when you're looking for your teachers, look for people who are doing what they're talking about rather than just talking about just because they have read. Yeah. Yeah? Because once you just read about swimming, mm -hmm. you can't teach me how to swim. That's You've true. never touched water. That's true. So, so for me, I'm not saying everyone should do what, what, what I'm doing. For me, I want you to have touched water. Then you know what it takes to, 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 what's the word, to kick water, mm -hmm. to, 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 to sort of um, push water and move forward. You know what it takes to move forward in water. Mm -hmm. That's why you find there's a lot of fake money there's a lot of fake teachers mm -hmm. and there's a lot of fake education. That's true. Right? And, 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 and those things are because of people who just read a book mm -hmm. and they think they can teach me now how to, how to, how to run a business. Because I'm a business consultant. Okay, how many businesses have you ran? Nothing. But they feel like just because I've read or I have a cause in, a, in business, right? Now I have a qualification to, to yes, they are, I know that they're consulting in different aspects and, 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 and I understand that. But they think they can teach you how to create a successful business when they have never created even one. That's why I also find um, fake teachers. You find, so you also find fake money. And also you also find fake education. This is what I want us to talk about today. 
how do you think media influences what we learn? Okay, before I jump into that, I was actually <laughs> fascinated by the points you were just driving. Okay, let me... I, I, knew, I knew this is going to touch something in your mind. Yeah. Okay, let me jump so into Cone of first. Learning. Okay, before you jump. Mm-hmm. Cone of Learning, um, um, this book, um, The Second Chance for Your Money, for Your Life, and for Our World. Mm-hmm. Um, the Cone of Learning is found in page... Um, in page... Um, okay, I forgot the page. Okay, now, yeah, there it is. It's found in page 239 yes, of sir. this book. We have okay. a single on YouTube, which is why you should listen to the podcast on YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is why you should listen to it on YouTube. So this book spoke about... Um, 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 just touches on, on Cone of Learning. Topically, Isaac also use it in his website, okay. um, rich dead, um, rich dead. com, and he also explains it and how he pushes his um, he pushes his courses using the cone of learning. Okay, okay. Um, the the point that I wanted to jump into, you just said something about uh, that something is spiritual related. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I can safely say I read in the Bible, but Jesus had problems with uh, the Pharisees. What were the Pharisees known for? Um, depends on, on which aspect you're talking okay, about. They were talking okay. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys um, used to read the Bible. They know the law of Moses. But they're not doing you the law. The, but they were not doing the law. You see yeah. what I mean? Yes, yes, Jesus yes. had a problem with them. And what did you call them? Hypocrites. Sure. That's exactly basically sure. like that. Yeah. And then we want to jump into the modern day mm. about books and um, reading and all that. Uh, mm. What is the modern day education to pushing the, the what's the agenda behind give them more books you need to read which is important though but it's important to read books. yeah it mm-hmm. is but the, you were saying something about um about active and passive learning right yeah so the books comes in the sector of passive, passive learning. learning yes am i right yes exactly right. so basically what you're gonna read in the book you try to just um see what it was and try to put it on right now in the present and then try to put it in the, in the future mm. you see the point is different from someone who we have learned through active learning so that's why yes. we, we have two kinds of people mm. in the educational system some people who are who, who passively learn who passively learned through something they just write. They just write. Exactly. Yeah. They were just write things, and then there are people who were active in the system. You what see, do, what do you mean by active in the, in this in this context? Okay, uh, that's when we talk about the people who actually failed to understand what it was in school. Some people who failed to understand what exactly the books were meaning, but they decided to go practical in the field of life. Ooh, so it's also important to mm. read the right information. Exactly. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I'm listening, I'm listening. So, okay. Um, I think on, on that one, we, we... I think that's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> and then um, we, sure. were, we were... You asked about um, the impact of media yes. on educational systems. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and so also, maybe before you go there, mm-hmm. um, um, maybe if you can, unless you want to jump to to, 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 to exhibit media, maybe explain to us um, from a perspective, what is education? What do we mean by education? So that when someone listens to you, can listen to you in the perspective of how you define education as. Okay. Oh, so in my perspective, uh, mm-hmm. education it is a systematic way of passing information mm-hmm. from uh, one generation to another. So that also transcends to media. Exactly. Okay. So basically, education uses a lot of uh, platforms. Sure. Uh, so that people can receive the information, the positive information that we're actually talking about. Yes. So, um, the media basically we is just something that we actually just sit back and then we see what's happening and then we don't care about the rest. It's just something that is actually programmed to do that. The but TV and exactly the TV and the whatsoever. But uh, if we really go deep in what exactly it is, that's when we're gonna realize, oh. So all along we've been learning through all these things sure. that we don't even know. Sure. So basically, uh, the media. Uh, how do we learn from the media? Mm. We can take um, a twelve-year-old kid. Sure. If you if you just leave the kid just to watch uh, maybe a channel for wrestling. Yes. Imminently, like as time goes on, you can see the traits of violence comes in his mind. Of course. Of I, have course. A, I have a case. I remember. My mother used to tell me about this case uh, where the little, with the bigger brother choked the, the little brother to death because he thought they were doing wrestling and then he choked the little brother and then he died. 
it's, and also and also there are stories though so just tell me there are stories that are, there's an article i forgot where i saw the article mm-hmm. where a boy just went to school threw a gun and started shooting at people mm-hmm. i think i think i think i'll try and find that story and link it somewhere here there's also a story and you ask yourself what did these people learn this thing from okay so do you think the teachers took the boy and then sat him down and then told him how to shoot of course not exactly yeah so basically what do they with that what do we do so the 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 point uh, of this whole media things we, we say it about is the impact that it actually do to us as human beings mm-hmm. because if we go back in the bible we say by beholding we become changed yes. so what do we behold what do we see in the tv programs mm-hmm. do you get the sense there's a dark secret behind all those media channels and who is behind and how is derived and its agenda towards the human race so basically yes. so basically we can simply say most of the people especially the parents they're both working the fathers at work the mothers at work and so the kids when they knock off from school what are they doing sit on the couch and then start watching tv so now who's responsible for educating the kids instead exactly. of in the absence of the, exactly. of the parents it's the tv it's the tv uh, okay exactly. i get you going, so yes. so this is what happens with media uh they call it the broadcast you get a sense okay for let me just start off with the, the first of reason for the word example we like to use the language english and english uh, i don't blame it for some reason the agenda succeeded but okay. it was uh, widespread in the world for a reason and we should know that english is a language that is actually derived from other other words other languages okay. right mm-hmm. with a deeper meaning and then it was mad and uh, the way that it uh, that we all speak about today and the way it, way it always comes out today mm. we se- it seems like something which is actually normal to us sure. you see the point so basically it's uh, so spells they, so they use a lot of um, um they use a lot of words that are derived from other languages from other languages and okay. actually they are spells if you don't we told you if you just take a look at the definition of the word spells spells exactly that's the actually the enchantings that we actually do day in day out okay so when they broadcasting what are they doing they are broadcast they are casting spells through <laughs> the media you see that's the point number one so they, sure, sure, they sure, channel sure. these things they channel these things but what are they doing they're trying to channel our mind on a certain platform of what exactly we are supposed to think and how we are supposed to behave mm-hmm. so basically that's controlling you see they're trying to channel uh, a person who watches horror movies he is channeled on that direction his behavior his morals his uh, attitude over things is totally different from someone who watch a channel that is only for romantic movies that's totally different you see the point so by that by the term broadcasting now this the spells that are actually casting to us and we'll be just seeing this day in day out watching and all that and then we think we are making our eyes you know feel comfortable and you know enjoy it just just mm-hmm. to uh, please ourselves mm-hmm. but one thing that we should actually know eyes there actually a lens that we see through it's yes. the mind that see through the eye yes. so what exactly are we doing it's our mind that is seeing the boring the broadcast sure. through the lens of what of the, the eyes. eyes exactly yeah. okay so basically when we when we talk about all those things and then most of the people they don't really know that uh most of the people in this world they're being taught through media Oh, yeah. So 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 in other words by 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 looking at um by by consuming media regardless mm-hmm. of what you consume mm-hmm. you are actually feeding your mind not your eyes not your eyes do you think um this is I didn't prepare this question mm-hmm. sorry do you think that also has an impact on our behavior in other words I'm after I'm watching the movie and watching and watching uh, eventually that come that goes to 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 my subconscious mind and it becomes the first thing that comes to mind when I'm facing a situation mm-hmm. meaning if maybe i watch a lot of um what's an example um t- okay let me just put it this way um does it also affect my decision making it does how brother i just talked about a big brother who just killed his young brother to death okay exactly okay. so it influences everything especially controlling everything everything especially on our behavior on our morals because the bible is very clear about this by beholding we become changed you get the sense so they mm. change that is exactly what you're talking about what are we changing for so it affects you our say, decision making just like you said everything okay if I, it affects really affects everything mm-hmm. so um we see uh most of the channels what is it exactly that we really that is really being broadcast there 
all the parents can do this. Yeah, they, you, we, we can exact drugs, drugs, drugs sex, exactly yeah, yeah. all those immoralities and whatsoever. And we are so like concerned about what society has done to 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 what what is it exactly media that is done to our to our children? Also, you get the sense. So it, the parents like we blame other people. Like okay, we blame other people for our children's behavior. But we didn't take responsibility to be the ones who are teaching. We them. we do that. We do that because after mm. the time we all spend the time at work, right? And then mm. we leave the media to educate our children. And then when the children guess all those certain traits and sure. everything that, and we start blaming or pointing fingers at each other, but we don't look at the root cause and exactly like that. Media is active. It's a very active learning way of learning. You get the sense? Oh, yes, because yes. it allows you and gives you the rooms to imagine. Because there's a sound effect. Mm-hmm. There is imagination. You can also imagine and create pictures in your mind. Stimulate all those. Exactly. Those, those and then there's visual. There's visual. So everything that uh, this is brought by education is more likely, we're more likely to get that part of 50% of what. So we can also remember. Some people can retell really movie exactly as it is word by word mm-hmm. through what nobody taught. But you, th- you, lo- you learn all through that, through media, through TV shows and everything. Okay, maybe we're going to cover this at the end, but what mm-hmm. do you think we should do to try and combat that? Okay, um, we go back to the Bible. The principle of first dimension I always uh, talk about. Yes, what did, really, what did really God wanted? What did he want? Exactly, after we sinned, right? Adam was the one who was supposed to be the provider, who was supposed to be the protector mm. of the family, mm. you see. And what was the mother supposed to do? I'm listening. I'm listening. The mother was supposed to be at home rearing the children teaching the children yeah. you get the sense yeah. is also the father's role as the priest of the house to teach the children mm-hmm. on how exactly they are supposed to what they are supposed to grow the so bible they always say train up a child in the way that you should grow so, that's so when that when he's old, old you never depart, depart from, from it, it. Yes, you see okay. mm-hmm. so we, we we created that void and put media into it mm-hmm. so the media is training up the same child in the way that he should grow mm-hmm. so that when he's old he will never depart from it <laughs> it's exactly like that I see, I see, so that's why you see most of our courage our characters doesn't change mm-hmm. exactly we mm-hmm. all look alike you get a sense of because why we're just using a square headed you see a square headed mm-hmm. type of a media to educate everybody in this world so think about that how many kids and children are victims of the same education through media and they're addicted to it. If we try and stop them, you, you're going to see a hell of a fight. And, and, and people, it becomes and addictive. People, they think it's funny. They really think it's funny that um that those things is a, it's an addiction. If it's not an addiction, switch it off for one week. Or take the phones away from them. Yeah, yeah. Or just, just, just take your, your own phone. phone or just yeah. see your own mm-hmm. phone. Mm-hmm. Let, the, let the kids alone. Just take yeah. your, try to live without a phone. Switch off your phone TV. for one week. You for one week. You if, and then if you, if you think that it's not an addiction, or how about the TV? Mm. Um... I remember when something happened back home sure. and then my mother wasn't really happy about it. Mm. She switched off the TV for 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. What happened? <laughs> you <laughs> can't switch your TV for 10 years in, for nothing. Okay, it's basically something that I should not disclose. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, on an open space. But um, sure. it's through all those media things, we had a serious effects. You get the sense? Mm-hmm. That my mother saw, like, what's the cost? That we're gonna get through into all this mm-hmm. are we gonna lose everything that we built through a tv do you think it's a coincidence um that these things are called programs i don't think um <laughs> it's uh, everything has a meaning okay everything 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 has a meaning in this world don't we don't just be blind and naive enough to always think that it's just something which is normal there's nothing like the word normal in this world you get the sense. Okay. But the term program, what are they doing? They're programming your mind. Yep, 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 yep. They're yep. programming your mind. They're telling you what to think, how to do it, how to behave, how to feel, and how to react to certain situations. Especially they, for a certain scenario they actually give you. They're programming that, you to behave in a certain way. If you think, if you think it, was, it wasn't an agenda enough, don't mm. we have like old repeating uh program tv shows every day they always everything comes up everything new they always cook up something new that we're mm-hmm. always gonna like just to keep you entertained and exactly exactly so 
the the one um if you go back in history uh, about the emperors or those uh we can take an example of the um, roman empire mm -hmm. you get the sense if the, the emperor is ruling in the way that people doesn't like mm -hmm. you get the sense yeah if people are not entertained they would rise against the empire are you not entertained exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so you see the point Why what, 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 what what do they do what do they do you mm -hmm. take those people Put them in opera rooms or, or what do you call this in those stadiums sure, and then they put sure. people in then and then being eaten by lions everybody being started being entertained that's when they started those sports games yeah all okay. oh, 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 those ball games all oh, this everything so what do you just think about this for a second sure um why do you think all the athletes are the most paid people okay why why uh, because though those are the major pieces on the board so that they can keep us asleep in the matrix yeah we divert our attention to soccer players cristiano ronaldo all his whereabouts we all are focused on what's what he's doing on the sports mm -hmm. on the entertainment part but what are you doing with your life yeah. what about finding your true cause how many kids in this world want to be like cristiano ronaldo i bet there i don't know but it's multi millions of them uh, after the break i want you to just tell me um <laughs> who has interest um who has interest in in trying to indoctrinate us mm -hmm. who has interest um um i mean trying to to disturb us from our course because mm -hmm. I, i i believe i was here for a certain purpose i yeah. believe the listener was was on this world for a certain purpose mm -hmm. so 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 i think correct me if i'm wrong we should be busy trying to find my purpose on this world that's right but now we are busy trying to um looking at copycat who, who's the last latest what's the latest gossip trend who's trending now what's playing da, 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 taking time mm -hmm. from me trying to discover my purpose i want to know after the break that okay. who has interest on these things right maybe we can just discuss that then go and find we talk about um how books actually we spoke about how media um affects our mind i want us to to speak about how books um um affect our mind exactly. in this day so we want to speak about that after the break Welcome back to Noisa Properties, the podcast, and we are broadcasting live. This is Noisa Properties, the podcast, getting better and better every day, learning from other people's mistakes, learning from other people's experiences, and learning from other people's information. And today we're learning from Mr. Don's information, and he's been teaching us and sharing with us how media affects our affects our mind. And also, if also um if you have even watched the first part well i'm sure you did um we've already spoken about the cone of learning the different ways that people learn people learn from reading people learn from looking at pictures people learn from demonstrations and people learn from speaking about things and people learn from doing things and i also suggest for you properties properties podcast listener that if you really really want to learn go and look for people who are doing what they're speaking about um, um before you learn from someone make sure that what they are uh, speaking about they are doing not just um people who have just read information and 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 i want and that's a question that i feel like we need to be asking people who, who feel like they are teaching us how much of what you are speaking about have you done how much are you applying the information that you're speaking about but because because for me if i listen to you about something that you are not doing it becomes a risk for me because you don't really know that information technically mm -hmm. because if you teach me about swimming and we have never even touched water i can't go and swim based on your information because 
you don't know how to swim so it's basically important it's for it's actually it's actually um, um it's going to help you to live it's going to help save your life if you're going to be able if you're going to learn from people who are not just um i'm speaking about things that they are speaking about but they are also doing because once you do something mm -hmm. that you you are teaching it means you have faith on what um, um you are teaching because a lot of people for me i think they do not believe what they are talking about because they're not doing it especially church people they speak about this and that and that and that but they're not doing it no, so for not. me i say they actually don't believe what they are speaking about and That's they're really just true. reading books mm -hmm. and, and 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 they're not doing what they they they, they, they are preaching so for me they actually don't believe what they are saying That's so true. i don't listen to them to be honest with you i don't listen to a lot of church people because i feel like they're just hypocrites mm -hmm. they are not talking they're not doing what they are talking remember if you read the bible when when jesus sees pharisees and says <clears throat> whatever 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 they say do or whatever they do don't because they're not doing what they're saying mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. same applies with today a lot of church people they this is just my opinion mm -hmm. um they are not doing what they're saying <laughs> they're not doing what they're saying not so today let's learn from you mr don let's mm -hmm. learn from you um and there's a lot of, there are things we're going to talk about i don't think as we're saying good to be ever going to run out of content are we yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things we can talk about mm -hmm. uh, and i don't want to bash people i have my own beliefs and i have my own um, circumstances and experiences mm -hmm. and i have my own biases god man mm -hmm. i have my own biases and i have my own plan spots hence i invite people here that i feel like i have a different perspective although they know better than me in, in some aspects mm -hmm. maybe they can teach me one thing or two on that note we're speaking about now um we're now we're speaking about books but before that, maybe you don't have to answer this question now, mm -hmm. but it's something that we can just ponder on. Um, and we're speaking about books now, how are books um, being used um, to sort of, um, what's the word, to sort of um, um, indoctrinate us, mm -hmm. right? Indoctrinate mm -hmm. us. You're using the word education. I want to use the word Indoctrin indoctrination. Yeah, Excuse me. So how are books being used to, to indoctrinate us? Maybe I'll blab a lot here. Um, what's on your mind, Khotmana, about um, um, the, the, the use of books to limit our information or maybe to indoctrinate us? What do you have in that? On okay. that um, because uh, we have to take a look on what types of books are we talking about. Yeah. Basically, I revolved on the holy book. People, they say the Bible. I'd rather say the basic instructor before the living earth. Mm. Um, look at the books that we actually read nowadays. And that's the thing, here's the thing, Platon, yeah. before, before I disturb you. Um, I ask this question a lot, not mm -hmm. because I don't believe, mm -hmm. but, but, but do, is the Bible the only book that we can read to elevate our lives? Not exactly. Okay. Not exactly. There are a lot of books that we can actually read to elevate our lives. And someone who's not reading the Bible, do you think they're missing something? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely they're missing something. Can I learn? You don't have to answer. It's just questions mm -hmm. I ask myself. Mm -hmm. Can is is it possible for me to learn something reading the Bible without the, without reading the Bible? Say that again. Can I? Is it possible for me to learn things that mm -hmm. are in the Bible without reading the Bible itself? Because the Bible is You're just teasing your mind. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You, you can learn that. Yeah, through a lot of things because the Bible is actually how we live, how we are supposed to live. So Scenarios then, and everything was written and was done before it actually happened. So it was the, documented before it actually happened. Therefore, mm -hmm. I don't need to read the Bible for me to know the Bible. I can just live life and know the Bible. But still, you read. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can't you. see what you're doing. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just okay. kidding. I love, okay. I love those teasing questions. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, talk about true. books yeah, before true. I mess up with your mind. Okay. <laughs> sure, yeah. man. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. On, on that. Yeah. Even now, uh, the Bible is. We, I, I, we, we I, I, talked about. Um, I love teasing Christians about yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. That's very true. That's very true. Okay, we we'll say by behold, uh, by beholding, we become changed. Yes, sir. You get the sense. Yes, sir. So by the time um, of whatsoever that we actually feed our minds, mm -hmm. exactly, that is the only thing that is going to change us. Okay. You get the sense. Yes. So when I say the Bible is going to make us change, is the point like whatsoever that we're going to read in it is going to happen change if we're going to make an impact when you laugh about it because uh, can you can repeat wh that whatever we read is going to to make an impact on us okay why because books they give you a room for imagination painting a picture in your brain mm -hmm. you get a sense of whatsoever that you're actually reading you're giving the mind the room to create a scenario on okay. what exactly you'll be saying things like 
visualizing things that you actually read. You okay. see the point. Okay. So if it's spiritual, you're going to visualize something which is spiritual. It depends on what type of books are we actually reading. You see the point. Okay. That's thing number one. And thing number two, about the books and everything that we actually read, um, do we validate how true it is? That's thing number one. Sure. And so then, we also need to validate this Bible book, eh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, on, sure. on that, sorry, on, sorry, that sorry. on that, uh, in the Bible, we had a lot of stories how mm. it came up, the struggle, the blood that was shed, sure. so that the Bible can come out to light. Mm-hmm. We had a point in history uh, that was called the Dark Ages, Dark ages exactly, is. where the well, Bible was um, exactly John Hans, John Hans that was uh, burnt into ashes and all that. The, yeah. Which are those kind of people there? People called the oh, I forgot the name. Okay, yeah. can continue. I'll so it, it it's oh lies in within uh everything that we we have to know when it comes to to the readings and the books and everything mm-hmm. we really have to validate how true the information is okay. because most of the readings or whatsoever that we're actually reading most of the authors or the readings or everything because the book can also be altered like it can be altered you get the yeah, sense yeah. so uh i really want to look at the information that these people were passing on to own and to generation and all that uh, most of the people, like the Asian people, when it started um, back then, uh, it was um, around 3200 okay. BC. Uh, the Egyptians, when they started uh, hieroglyphics, and then they used to write on walls everything with the pictures and everything, just an aid so that the people they could know mm-hmm. what exactly what happened on this time, sure. what everything that was actually documented on that moment. You see, so it's the truth that we actually uncover for whatever that was actually written mm-hmm. exactly and then we have to unfold them by reading what happened and the like true life events and everything yeah. so we, we look into history books nowadays mm-hmm. is everything that has been written is it true is the history that we actually read is it true is it the point mm-hmm. so by the time learning we have some books that we actually refer to and everything that we're going to read through them we are more likely to believe them okay so how do you think um just a side mm-hmm. question how do you think we can validate um we can try and find the validity and the credibility of this book including the the, the bible of course how do you validate whether the, the, the book is true or not uh nowadays um it's very difficult i can i can say that mm-hmm. it's very very difficult because you can see the thin line between the truth and the lies so sure, a lot okay. of people uh they just use references they, they, they just use references on whatsoever that are actually ones. Because let's take for an example, uh, if we go back into the book or the history of about medicine and whatsoever, mm-hmm. we only know about Hippocrates. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. the sense? Yeah. But medicine existed 2,000 years before Hippocrates was born. Yeah. You see the point? So the point that we can actually, we can actually, those things can actually be outed and we're going to be given information that we really want to know about something and the rest can be eliminated yeah. that's the that's that's the danger that's the danger of using books especially when you really want to find out about information like we said there's a lot of things that we can actually think is true because we read it about it yes but sometimes we really need to validate about it so how sometimes is this uh intuition and sometimes we we see because one thing that we actually know this is just actual it's a natural law the truth reveals itself the truth yeah. generally reveals itself no matter how many lies might try to cover up whatever was or what it is but the truth always come to light it's how exactly exactly how it is from the creation let there be light until the end of time there is going to be light so people they don't have to worry what the truth is whatsoever what was and all that the truth is generally going to reveal itself and okay. by intuition and whatsoever they actually build human beings they can actually sometimes define they can actually see this is the truth they can actually see that though it's a lot of lies that we can be in uncovered we can be covered on top of whatsoever and then we try to make it look nice like it's the truth but when it's not it's not the truth will always come to light what's the difference between how do you find what what is the truth Maybe that we are what is the truth okay uh, people they say a lot of things about the truth the truth is subjective a lot of uh, you know theories that they actually put into but um 
the truth basically i can actually say it um, how it started the origins i think basically that's the truth okay exactly if we go back to everything on how exactly it started that's how we find the truth on something if you really want to find out about something we go back to how it started that's why people they study a lot of quantum physics the truth behind almost everything mm -hmm. you get the sense they study how it originates okay. compounds everything they just break it down to the origin sure i think the origin lies within the truth so if you really want to go to find out the truth especially about everything let's go back how we started how it started how we started okay yeah okay so even 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 the truth about education, mm -hmm. um, the reason why we're being so much educated, mm -hmm. um, but educated, you know, when you say when you say educated, it feels like you're speaking about qualifications and 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 and, and, and right, which which are important, but also they have their own limitations. So when when you say about being educated, it feels like I'm speaking about um um um, um qualifications, which I'm not. But when you speak about education, mm -hmm. you are technically saying, let's go and look at how it started. Mm -hmm. Why was it even um, implemented? Why, 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 why are we even being taught these things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So once we know how this thing started, then we will know why is it being done this way. Exactly, because at every origin, there's a reason. Okay. Every origin has its reason and in, in, in like an intention of that. You get the sense how the yeah. car was originated, what is the origins of the car, and what's its intended use. Yeah. You get the sense. So when education started, who started it? With what intention? Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Not about whatsoever that we're told. No whatsoever that is actually manifesting today, what is being used. We don't care about all that. Yeah. Let's go about the roots. How has it been changed? You see what was the what was the maybe i think we, i'm not sure we have covered this mm -hmm. or maybe i'm slow or something what was the intention of education okay i'm gonna say this uh point blank i'm having a lot of brain freeze today <laughs> <laughs> sure okay. sure uh point blank education was created so that we can create employees okay they can create employees mm -hmm. who are we talking about john d rockefeller the guy who started the whole school system. Yeah. To get a sense, they wanted a community that we had no entrepreneurs. No, 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 not a lot of thinkers because if we're going to have a lot of thinkers, we're going to have a lot of problems. We need people who can follow. You get the sense? Mm -hmm. Employees, people who can listen, not people who can think. Sure. You see the point? Sure. What do they do? Give you diagnostics, checks, and everything. And then we do progress check. If you have an A plus, you're a very good employee. If you ever see, oh no, this is a bad employer. Those people, those misfits are mm. a problem to the society. So what do they do? They torment your mind first. You're a failure. Sure. You're going to live the rest of your life thinking that you're actually a failure. Mm. This is the point. Sure. So the point about education is exactly like that. There's no truth behind it. There is no whatsoever that we really want to magnify and put on a white robe like nowadays so that we can make it think like it's better or whatsoever the intended use of what education was brought into was to create employees and people who are loyal who can listen you get a sense that exactly who are smart enough to run machines exactly who can do some paperwork mm -hmm. but who cannot think who cannot rise up against us tomorrow and think that whatsoever they were doing is actually wrong? Who can be mere pawns in a system sure. and not ask questions? Yeah. And then so what do we do? We bribe them with a salary. You get the sense? Sure. So that's when we talk about this, those systems that are actually designed for a reason. Mm -hmm. You get the sense? Mm -hmm. we, we talk about that and then we actually talk about the tools and the use. What, what we talk about, let's talk with for an example, money. The system, what is it exactly you think it was actually being used for? manipulation controlling people's lives sure. you get the sense sure. money is just a paper and the people, exactly the value is actually what you put in your mind mm -hmm. you see think, think this for a second the world, world works up today and then they think money is just bond paper what do you think is going to happen no but the, the the people who runs the banks the elites they do not want that Sure, you get sure. They want you to keep thinking that money has this value of its own, but money doesn't have a value of its own. Mm -hmm. You get the sense? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so, where, is, what, where, so, is, so where is the value actually? 
the, okay, the value is in your mind. The fact that you're going to need it. The fact that if the something is valueless, you get a sense? Mm-hmm. I give you this phone, right? Mm-hmm. But if you think this phone doesn't have value, you don't need it. But as your mind thinks that this phone is value, you're going to start needing it. So once you have money, you have excess. Exactly. So that's why uh, a lot of people mm-hmm. are being taught in the school systems that actually what we have to do is to chase money. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what do you have to do to chase money? You have to work. Get, you have to work. Mm-hmm. Get, get good, good grades gra- gra- at, you know, mm-hmm. at school. Get those A+. Mm-hmm. After all those A+, you go to university, get all your degree. You get a sense? Sure. Pass with flying colors, right? Mm-hmm. Get a job, work 24-7, tirelessly. <laughs> tirelessly. You get the sense? Be a faithful. Exactly. Be a loyal. Exactly. Employee. And then sure. they give you something without value. Right? So that they can control your life. These people, they print these things. Night out. Right now, as we are talking, they are printing a, a large sum of money. <laughs> trillions of papers sure, that they actually sure. want to give tomorrow. People to the next morning. So, you so get the sense? So that what? They keep on controlling. So the whole idea is not about you know making people's lives better you get the sense by if all, you, if, by if all those unf- useless information that we're actually being taught in schools and the whole situ- educational system sure, sure no it's just for you know if, if you were you, we don't want you to think that much you just have to know this don't know you know a lot of things and a lot of stuff and, you and, see the point and they give you enough just to eat sleep, sleep. and come back to and work come back to work. if they give you more you're not gonna come back you're not gonna come back Enough. It's that's another, another thing that um, Robert Kiyosaki says on mm. this book, The Second Chance, on page nine of that book. He says, if you want to control people's lives, mm-hmm. limit their knowledge. Very true. Very limit true. We, we t- um, it, was, it was a question, actually. The question is, uh, okay, it says, I let that knowledge is power, mm-hmm. right? If you want to control people's lives, limit their knowledge. That is why throughout history, his sports have banned books and were exiled. Second Chance. So if, if 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 I want to control your life, mm-hmm. let me limit their knowledge. Mm-hmm. Let me educate you what enough for you to come back and work for me more and more, and, right. and not give you enough so that you can see that you don't need me anymore. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's that that's 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 that. That's what I'm learning. That's basically like it. We talked about that at the same time uh, with the franchises and the franchise uh, everything. Yeah. But they really don't want you to know the secret behind almost everything. Sure. So that you can still come back you're going to still depend on the system sure. and you think that's your only way out sure but no that's not do you get the sense sure so basically that's how it was actually designed and we're given all those information all those books that we actually documented for certain reasons do you get mm-hmm. the sense mm-hmm. all those books we actually read let's talk about all those medical books we read all those theories we read in the history everything we apply in life but all it, it's all it, embedded in all the system I actually rely on. There's a, there's a line from the things that you're saying now, mm-hmm. you know why? Because I read a lot of medical books, um, mm-hmm. I've read a lot of medical books and I've been trained um, on, on, on medical laboratory sciences. Mm-hmm. So a lot of information that we learn, they actually saves lives. Mm-hmm. But then now there's a thin line from what you're saying, because you save a life, but then you still remain an employee. That's right. And also it goes to, um, goes to saying that which side of the spectrum do you want to be in? Mm-hmm. Do you want to be kept as an employee or do you want to be in charge of employees? Mm-hmm. That's the other thing that, that I feel like we should clarify to some extent. Because mm-hmm. I, I want us to, to conclude over the break. Uguti. What then should we do? Because yeah? mm-hmm. what you're speaking about, um, to some extent, right? Are we, we are going to cover when we are reviewing this book, The Second Chance. Mm-hmm. Uguti. Okay, after we've learned all these things, what then is the conclusion of the whole met? That's true. Hey, don't call the Bible and say, hey, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. <laughs> Fear God and, and keep his commandments. <laughs> you know that. But 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 yeah. what can we do? That is actually what, yeah, from, the from, conclusion, though. <laughs> Fear God and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. He says that because that's the whole duty of man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. But at the end of the day, what can we take away, right, from mm. from, from, from from after learning how media influences our mind? Mm. Um, um, after the, we've learned how books also can, can, can indoctrinate us, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want us to conclude after the break in, in, in you telling us, okay, now we've learned all these things. Mm-hmm. We've um, attached all these things. Okay, what do we do then? How, what, what do we do from now onwards to make sure that we look, because what, what I'm doing right now, mm-hmm. excuse me, it's what I'm doing right now, trying to find my own purpose. Well, I think 
I'm well close to actually finding my uh, purpose, even though I'm not living it fully right now. <laughs> um, but I have a plan in t- on getting there. So what do you think maybe um, we can do after learning all this information? What do you think we can do okay. to actually um, improve our lives? Right. Get out of this red race, mm-hmm. right? If people mm-hmm. want to be rich, how do we do that? But now from what we've been learning, what we've been indoctrinated to learn, what then? We've learned all these things. What then? What should we do? Okay. What should we do to become better? Should we limit TV? What should we do? Should we not read books? What should we do? Should we not go to school? Okay. What should we do? What okay. should we do? And we're going to cover that after the break. Yeah, be- before before we go, I just wanted to say, sure. um, maybe we can, people, you can conquer what you can see. Mm. Generally, that's the ability of humans. You get the sense. You cannot sure. conquer what you cannot see. First okay. of all, we have to seek the knowledge the wisdom behind everything we have to go through and we want to talk about systems first before we get to the solutions okay let's people talk about that have after to, the break people have to know you have to know exactly. let's talk about systems mm-hmm. and from there we conclude all on, on, like but after, after i've learned those things what then what's the conclusion of the whole matter we're going to speak about that after the break Welcome back to <coughs> welcome back. Sorry, welcome back to Nasa Properties the podcast. We are broadcasting live. Um, this is Nasa Properties the podcast. Uh, learning, getting better and better every day. Learning from other people's information, learning from other people's mistakes, and learning from other people's experiences. Today we have um um um, um today 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 I'm 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 following behind you, Bradon. Mm-hmm. You're a step ahead of me, and my brain is having multiple brain freezes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of information, to be honest with you. A lot of information. I'm digesting a lot of information today. I'm hearing it from the first time. So I'm trying to, to learn as much as I can. And because and the idea behind this is to learn from people, That's right. their experiences, their information, and, 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 and their mistakes. Right? So that's basically what's happening. Um, we are just trying to learn. We are just trying to learn. So I wanted to to, to, to just take me through um, the symbolism, um, according to you, not according to you, but of course, <laughs> the symbolism behind um, graduation. What do you have there? Okay, um, as we spoke about earlier before we went for the break, we sure. really, we would say the human beings, they cannot conquer what they cannot see. Okay. Because of the sense. So mm-hmm. basically we want to jump in into the systems that we actually live with. Sure. Day by day, and don't even know what this symbolizes to us, and how they are manipulating our life and controlling our lives and way of thinking. Mm. So uh, we're gonna start out about the uh, the school system. Okay. Exactly. Like we say, the education is not a preparation for life. No, but education is life itself. Okay. You okay. see the point? Okay. Okay. So, okay. so basically, what what this is what exactly we actually do? We get educated. For example, we get educated for how many years? Twelve years. You get the sense. Fifteen, sometimes twenty. Some, years, exactly. Right? You see. You see the point. Oh, sure. let's, let, let's take another example. How school is robbed as all those years. Don't you think we don't we don't deserve to know all the symbolism behind everything? Why are we spending twenty years in school? Exactly. We really have to know. And, and when we get those um, those qualifications and they put to that round thing, whatever the fuck okay. that is. Um, <laughs> so bas- basically. Um, we want to talk about it, like what, what was the symbolism behind. Sure. We talked about um, the origins, how it started. We wanted workers, people who cannot think. Yeah, but yeah, what? Yeah. 
could create, right. create, 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 to create good employees. Employers, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So um, we talk about uh, this whole graduation thing. People, they do not know that is something actually behind. Okay, so when you graduate, you become an alumni. Okay. okay. The university or the college or the school you graduate with. So when people say, you know, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an alumni. Exactly. I mean, in case it, an alumni. Exactly. <laughs> what so do they mean? What that's do they mean? They, exactly. So when it illuminates you, it has given you certain information that you're supposed to live with. You have, gra- you. You have yeah. graduated the kind of life they want you to go into. You get the sense? So to an, an alumni, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm mm-hmm. learning, by the way, an alumni is someone who has been enlightened. Mm-hmm. Is that what it means? Um, according, to how, according to how they are saying it, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just learning. Yeah, the way they actually, people we know, we they say uh, someone who is enlightened, so when you say I'm a UK student alumni, I'm being um, um, illuminated, I'm being enlightened mm-hmm. by UK students. Exactly. So okay. that how does it sound? How does it sound to? Sounds nice. Exactly. It sounds, sounds nice. nice. I've, been, I've been enlightened. Exactly. <laughs> sure, sure. So what it does it mean exactly? My bad. That's exactly the opposite. Okay. They're taking away your potential of living your life, finding. Indoctrinating Exactly, you. exactly. Indoctrinating you with useless information and things that they want you to know. Sure. Teach them a lot of nothing. A lot of you nothing. You want to control people's lives, limit their information. Exactly, their like we always going to say. So sure. what are you going to do? All the dreams that you really wanted, that were engulfed in you. Yes. They were not allowed to shine. That's thing number one. Because we always say, by J. Frederick Kelly said what? strong minds they cannot shine in the standardized tests standardized yeah, test okay. is the definition of the educational system you see the point okay and then we we go up there but the term illumination you're not being illuminated to anything <laughs> they just took away everything that you know every every potential it, it, of everything that you you all your ability that you actually have and they gave you what they want and they gave know. you what they want mm. so when they illuminate you the universe illuminates you what do you wear on you put on those black robes sure. and the motorboard on your head. Mm. What, do you call that thing? what do you call that thing? Motorboard. It looks like a cap to me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So they'll be capping sure. you with those, all those motorboards and everything. What's the meaning of that? You get the sense? Mm. Everything has a meaning in this world. Do, let's, let's not be fooled. Let's not be fooled that ev- n- nothing has a meaning. Everything has a meaning in this world. The black uh, robe represents and the motorboard in his head represents saffron. Saffron, what is that? Saffron, that's the Hebrew god of knowledge. Oh. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> so so basically, when when they when they actually do that, everything is just a symbolism. It's an agenda that is just trying to be pushed, so that the what? God of knowledge. Exactly, so that we can be in the circle, or we can just be mere pawns sleeping in what? In the matrix. Let's talk about that. Let's just talk about that. Okay. So what do we learn at school? Like I always said. English has succeeded to be one of the most, you know, language that is spoken worldwide. Yeah, we are like speaking, we, we are speaking even the language actually, right now. We, right, exactly. Yeah. So what, what, what do we say um, about the, the, with that? We don't question about that a lot of things. Not Everything is just being translated into English. How we do we learn? So what do we learn in school? And, and actually, we're the ones who, who, who ask, why is it not written in English? Yeah. You why see, is it not written in English? Exactly. You're, not, you're not even English speaking people. This is a shame. This is a shame. Especially in Africa, where can I say this is a shame? Mm-hmm. Because most of the schools and universities, they judge people's <laughs> intelligence by the ability to speak in English. Yeah, well. <laughs> let's just, let me just get this straight. What is English per se? We say it is a language that is actually, you know, built up by a lot of other languages, like sure. words, mm. that were put into a meaning mm. to see, to us, so that we can see it is something which is normal. But what do you call this? These are spells that are being cast, right? They, they are they cast. Exactly. <laughs> to us. You get the sense? Sure. So that's why when we do, when we, we're trying to write down, what do they say? We are spelling the words. You get the sense? <laughs> we are taught to write in a cursive. We are cursing. You get the sense? Day in, day out. You get the sense? Morning. You got, you, you got the spelling wrong. Exactly. <laughs> Morning. Sure. How about that? If we would greet each other every, you know, dawn in the, in the, in the, and at the beginning of the day, we say morning, good morning. Okay. Morning, you get a sense. It was also, if, we, if you look at it, it's derived from words. Like we said, if we really want to get to the solution, if we really want to know to the truth, 
go mm. to the origins on how it started it's like exactly. barbarians when they call you a barbarian why mm. do they call you a barbarian remember those kind of gen- the genesis of words especially exactly. in the english language exactly oh, you see okay. you see so the point going, so, going, so yeah. when the term wood morning there's grief over death every time when you wake up it's grief over death you get the sense what dead who died oh okay there's a <laughs> lot of things that we actually do everything we actually don't know sure. from after we say good morning mm. what do we do next we go to our jobs what is a job job means persecution in hebrew you get the sense we get persecuted and then we call that those seven days a week you're being weakened from your job because why because you're being persecuted you get the sense you're working in day in day out you get the sense you're being yeah. persecuted from your job and then when you go to the end of that was in the weather's way we call it weekend you get the sense that's the end of you being weak and what do people mm. normally do? <laughs> what do people normally do? They drink alcohol. <laughs> sure, sure. They drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah. You get the sense? Alcohol was a word derived from the word alcohol from Hebrew. You okay. get the sense? Mm-hmm. That means body eating spirit. So that's why people they act possessed when they are drinking alcohol, when they, they when they are drunk. That's why they act possessed. Because sure. this is the term body eating what? Eating spirit. alcohol. Because what they are trying to do. They're trying to rub away their sorrows of being a weekend the whole days that they've been working, they've been persecuted on their job. So, so okay, can, can, I, can I ask this question and just mm-hmm. repeat this for me? Mm-hmm. Why is it called a spirit? Alcohol. Okay, why do you think alcohol okay, is called a spirit? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. Because it's body. Because he because just said, because let me just put this mm-hmm. this way. Because I don't want to say other things because I want to learn from him from mm-hmm. this. But from what you're saying, why are they acting possessed? because a certain spirit spirit exactly has influenced them that's what you say right mm-hmm. so that's why i'm asking to you the reason i'm asking people i want you to repeat it for me mm-hmm. why is it called a, a spirit okay well, actually they've said they've uh, they, call them spirit, they call them spirits you get the sense yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so what are you drinking spirits so what do you when you're drunk there's the body <laughs> eating spirits you get the sense the thing, so, the thing is the thing is um yeah. the word spirit um okay we'll talk about it later talk about it later some some i need to try and trust and find out but it's just 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 interesting how you okay. put it so so how you, i so, never thought of it that way that's why uh, my mind is like whoa okay okay sure so, so basically that's actually we have been taught how many years 20 years technically exactly. thank you 20 years. thank you we are being taught that, like we say, education is not preparation for life it is life, life itself. itself you get the meaning, sense meaning meaning even after school mm-hmm. education Continues. continues before school there is education, education at home there's exactly education. exactly uh, so the so, way that you are looking at it don't correct me if i'm wrong is excuse me excuse me hey, sorry about play a lot bro sorry um, um so the way that you're looking at it is mm-hmm. whatever you experience la- in life mm-hmm. whether you're watching tv reading you interacting with people you are in the process of education you are being educated or you're learning you're doing all those kind of things so education you must not separate it correct me if i'm wrong um i just you know you should not just box it in going to school for 12 years and and, and you still get educated even outside of school, outside of school yeah, that's true. exactly that's what okay. i'm saying okay this disease called education that moment when you're actually born is still going to haunt you hmm. there's a difference and a big difference like i always say like i highlighted last time sure. there's a difference between learning and education education is a systematic way that they want you to know and they want you to learn and they want you to put you in the same systems so even our even when our kids go home they're still being educated exactly exactly a hungry man is always an angry man but too much calories benumb the brain mm-hmm. talk to me through that Okay, so we go back the same to the systems. We were we talking about, about this last time, I remember. I yeah, remember. Yeah. So after we, we were done with the schools, well, we were talking now about what we actually taught. Mm. So we go about, we, this, we talk about the school systems. Sure. We go about the, the health, the pharma systems. Mm. You get the sense? Mm. Which we are taught about this a lot of times at school. Mm. You get the sense? Yes. We're supposed to eat three times a day. Sure. Exactly. Do you feel hungry? When you eat three times a day, no. or you Why? are just actually programmed to do so. I am full. Exactly. I am full. What does that mean? I'm full. <laughs> okay. Sure. When you actually, they say like be full and marry. You get the sense? Mm. When they term marry, you will not be caring about anything that happens. You are just in, enjoying yourselves to the fullest. Too much you calories been on the brain. Exactly. That's what we're saying. So we, when we say that a hungry man is always an angry man, you get the sense? Mm. When something is actually angry, it's on alert mode. 
it's on survival mode. So you not get the angry, sense? Not angry in the, in the way that we think about it. Like. No, 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 no. Oh, it's okay. on survival it's mode. Do you get the ah, sense? Okay. Because okay. actually someone who is hungry can think smarter than someone who is full. Mm. Mm. Someone who is eaten and is full cannot think like they, they like when hungry men and they actually have a goal they actually have a goal to 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 to, to move towards to because mm-hmm. they 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 sort of i'm not me if i'm wrong i'm just mm-hmm. learning and they sort of have this lack mm-hmm. then they have a, a mission mm-hmm. to get something to feed them mm-hmm. then in that sense they have a purpose that's exactly. why that's why that's why they always say you must always be hungry exactly Is, are you saying it in that perspective in that perspective uh, exactly, okay, that's no, you, exactly. so because um the whole point is um feeling comfortable for something you mm-hmm. get the sense okay so when your brain is numb do you not be thinking about anything but yeah, you, you, you just, just relax relax and sleep you, you get the sense and the bible it says in proverbs a little sleep a little slumber anger will catch you like a vagabond mm. you get the sense mm. so the term that when you actually sleep that's a sign of you being satisfactory with whatever that you're actually doing so when you uh, eat too much calories you no longer be thinking you get the sense the exactly so now that you we, explain it i get it mm-hmm. I, okay now so, i'm following sure so so when we, we when we go to the bible like we we, we are sure okay when we, we, we want to put this in a practical way yes, you get the sense mm-hmm. the bible says just teaches us to go and look in nature you get the sense okay how alert nature can be you get the sense because it's no it always fair to satisfactory can you just repeat that for me it's not it's not always fair up to satisfactory nature is never it never was you get the sense Ooh. it always that hunger always to work you get the sense okay what we really have to work is what our minds okay exactly our body exactly when i mean our body exactly and the spirit as well Mm. you get the sense when we talk about it's not all about going to the gym and doing workouts and all that it's not even about that our stomachs has to work do you know that actually when we starve our body like when we fast it increases the people's intelligence the people they didn't know that that's why most that's why most of the whatsoever what the churches continue into or more into fasting and all into this what it increases your ambition towards something Oh, you get the sense okay. if you are praying okay. if you are praying you get it you have to pray with your whole heart mm-hmm. exactly when your stomach is empty right when you're thinking you'll be thinking with the maximum capacity of your brain yeah you get the sense it's a natural matter of a metabolism of how our body is built and we're gonna run we're and gonna and run that, away so, so so in other words that hunger is is is, is sort of um um, um what you call beneficial mm-hmm. it really is okay you get a sense because the moment when you cease to think uh, when you feel like you're satisfactory and everything is well with your soul mm-hmm. what do you do you relax you get a sense so that's why we have a lot of people in this world who do not think who think everything is fast satisfactory why because they are food they are comfortable with whatsoever that they have sure. you get a sense sure so when the bible said men shall not live with bread alone but by the it, way it's exactly from the mouth of the Lord. It always <laughs> it always going to going to relate on that on sure. that statement you get sure. the sense so basically what we really have to do we always have to stay hunger and alert and awake for sure. whatever they will actually do so this is what the pharmacy does um we are given things that actually numbs the brain you get the sense uh-huh. in um in many ways sure uh, and then um we talk about the things we learn that's why we don't ask a lot of questions mm-hmm a lot of medical things we actually do want to best about the farmers whatsoever sure. their agendas and whatsoever we talk about I, i like to refer to this guy his name was dr sebi i think hey. a lot of a lot of people really, really have to know about this guy uh he's a guy who who was uh put in jail and uh he went in court so many times been uh accused of so many cases is it the guy who was speaking about how may, i think it's mercury mm-hmm. can be able to kill the um, the hiv virus or something like that Yeah, he's the one who guys who, who say that have cured HIV and AIDS. Okay, what exactly. about him? Yes. Exactly. We always talk about. He said, "I never went to school." Let's talk about that. I never. I think I've seen the went to him. school. Yeah. So when it comes to this whole curing this whole AIDS thing, I was the going to be the last candidate in the world because I've never seen what the door of medicine looks like. Okay. You you see the point. Mm-hmm. But what did he do? He was like, "I have Jehovah Rapha on my side." Okay. God our healing balm of gilead you see the point sure. you went back to nature what did he do he cured all those diseases using what using herbs you get the sense mm-hmm. exactly so 
the agenda behind that why he was silenced and poisoned you get the sense some of this information if you're going to talk about in the public place you might get killed for it you get the sense yes. because there is nothing that matters most in this world than the truth yeah. because yeah. why if i can keep the truth away from you and tell you what you have to know by the time that i'm keeping that away from you i can control you yeah. you see that's yeah. why in the time say knowledge is power that when it comes in through it you get a sense mm -hmm. so you went into natural causes we say we want to bring solutions people that really need to divert from something that is not natural something that is man-made they need to go to something that is godly made something that is actually natural that's why we have to divert from all chemical components of everything that we consume sure, to sure. go to something that is actually natural you mm -hmm. get the sense you talk about acidic foods you get the sense Mm -hmm. If you eat anything that is not body related, that doesn't complement the body, acidic foods, they go and break down the mucous membrane and the mucus goes in the places that is not supposed to go. What does it do? Okay. It blocks and deoxygenate all the cells that are supposed to be oxygenated. You get the sense? Sure, sure, if it sure. goes into the, into the nasal passage, it's sinusitis. You get the sense? Mm -hmm. It goes into the, the, into the bronchitis, the bronchitis, a lot of things. You get the sense? Sure, so you sure. said, I discovered there's only one disease. There's only one disease, you get the sense? That's only the breaking down, the only dis the oxygenating of what? Of sicker cells, of, of cells. When the cells become sicker, that's when you can what? That's when you become sick. As long as all the cells in your body are well Healthy. and oxygenated, you can never be sick. You ne they when there are no diseases, you said, you said the point. Okay. So people have an agenda. We look about the term, the word HIV and AIDS. They say it's not a natural disease. There was a man-made disease with what? With an agenda on its own to depopulate the, the people. Who says that? Who says that? There's a lot of sources we can talk about. Okay. People we can actually Google about a lot of things that we can actually do that. Mm -hmm. You can also refer to Dr. Sebi as well. But what happened to him? He's no more right now. He's big. So we, mm -hmm. we, we always uh, talk, or even the truth, we always want to come to light. When it's actually the truth, look, what is the point? For the whole pharmacy, you are in the medical sector. What's the whole point for you doing your job? You can just tell me. No, no, no. I don't speak about that. Oh, oh no, no. Like, okay. <laughs> I in don't your, speak in about your mind, no, what, no, what no. is the agenda of, of, of the whole medical sector? It's no, to save uh, lives, right? No. Uh, it is a thing. It is a thing now with me. Uh -huh. I was trying to avoid speaking about that. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I made the podcast not to be about what I do. It's okay. part of what I do because... Okay. There are some things that I don't want to say, mm -hmm. uh, things that I feel like I'm not ready to say. Mm -hmm. um, and my opinions when it comes to medical, mm -hmm. um, to the medical field and what I do. And, and I don't speak about it. That's why I also never heard me saying anything about, about medicine and what I do okay, outside of this. So I don't speak about it. So like, uh, <laughs> we, we just like, don't you find it suspicious sure, like in the sure. time, like uh, in the medical sector, mm -hmm. all those organizations that are there to save lives. But when Dr. Sebi did the same thing, sure. he was arrested. Okay. Exactly. Why? Because exposing some truth on what exactly is happening. What exactly that is happening behind. It's okay. not a, what about what we taught you to school. No, mm -hmm. through natural nature, through learning from natural, like nature and everything and natural stuff. You so get the sense. So he's saying nature is sufficient for us to be healed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very very much. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that we're going, we're going to survive, rather than you know, because uh, there's a lot of things that actually beh happens behind almost every medical sectors so Poli poli okay. politics i want us to mm -hmm. move to i want us to move to politics okay and um, then we're going to move on lifestyle um uh, lifestyle mind enslavement mm -hmm. and bread okay uh, so and then uh, we move on to that still talking about systems we'll talk about sure, the sure. political systems that we're actually being used right away. uh we forget about the politicians mm -hmm. just for a second just forget about them uh, and everything is actually something that we're actually taught is the law schools and everything how to campaign and all that yeah, yeah. but uh one thing that i actually know about the system is that the one person that people has at heart is not always going to be their leader who is it going to be for an example sure uh we talk about a lot of people that we talk about uh most of them they're actually assassinated for the sake of caring for their people for their own room for, for, for their own god you get a sense um we talk about um a lot of things uh that we actually educated into we really thrive to be independent that's thing number one sure we really thrive so that we can be you know we do not be enslaved in any way you get the sense but um as we talk about the neo-colonialism sure, as, sure. as a whole you get a sense 
how does exactly is it really literally affect us you get the sense our educational systems and everything is written in english and everything we always idolize all those western cultures and western yeah. western systems as going to be what as going is, is everything is going is we, that's the american dream you get the sense mm-hmm. but there always there's always a saying that american dream so always to <laughs> believe in it <laughs> i've heard that a lot of times exactly yeah, sure the only way to believe or to achieve the american dream is used you have to be asleep you get the sense so what that you can what you do not have like i said if you really want to control people's life just leave me them the information them the sure, sure. exactly so this is actually something that we actually talked about we're going to talk about this in the lifestyle mm-hmm. but on the we 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 talked about uh on the educational system what kind of impact does it have to come about the leadership and political side uh i like to refer to marco max he always talk about the house mm-hmm. negro and the field negro you get the sense the house mm-hmm. negro at um at white right you sure. fed you fed you, you dressed well mm-hmm. you get the sense he ate like the master yes. and everything was okay with him you get the sense okay. he loved the master more than the master loved himself you get the sense mm. so when the master actually was saying he's sick you would say like are we sick you get the sense mm-hmm. he had too much love for what for his leader so when the sure. field negro is the one who is seeing the reality now comes and let's run away from this uh like a uh, ruthless master you say what's better than what we got because he can't see what what the one who's on the field what, is what's is really better than what we got you see sure. exactly okay. what's okay. really better on, or than what we got so about the leadership like i always say it always go back in the bible mm-hmm. and god said god ne- really never wanted the team of kings and whatsoever and whatsoever if you go back in the history of israel how they all this started sure. but they said because your hearts are hardened they're going to give you the, the first the king was so you get it yes yes i remember when the people exactly of israel, israel were complaining hey, his, reign, king, his yeah. reign was very very ruthless and everybody regretted that yeah. but somehow we are now in this whole system in together you get the sense mm-hmm. it's a system on its own that have his own rules you get the sense sure and everything that actually goes but i always take mo- most of the principles like i always say like the one who is actually crude and a good leader who is on the side of people with the no agendas or no whatsoever mm-hmm. most likely that the person is not likely to lead the people can you repeat that for me sorry the pe- the person who is people at heart Sure. with no any hidden agenda behind sure is not more likely to be the leader of the people Ish. it all happens it happens a lot of a lot of it cases and exactly does. if you go back in history we look about those most influential people who had mad mm-hmm. a lot of like i'm an africanist right sure. i like to you know to liberate especially people's minds mm-hmm. especially on those kind of kind, kind of criteria you get the sense we sure, talk about sure. um may 1963 mm-hmm. There were a lot of um uh, like there were 32 countries they were gathered in Addis Ababa to come from Africa here they were they were kind of gathered in Addis Ababa you mm-hmm. get the sense there were a lot of speeches that were talked but one of the greatest speeches that were talked about was one Osage Kwame Nkrumah okay he said if we really want to alleviate ourselves from the diabolical master who was the enslaver right who became the neo colonialist you get the mm-hmm. sense mm-hmm. we must move here as Africa with the one power one army one currency one central bank sure. as move as one africa but they listen to him not but do you think that's going to that's going to be helpful i've heard i've heard, I've heard a lot of these political people saying ah, the no, issue the issue the and issue, also they say it's the thing issue, of the, and yeah, then, the issue is all about mind enslavement like i always say okay as long as they get your mind on the loop you cannot do anything that is outside the realm that you actually taught okay. you're taught about the difficulties let's to go back way back before everything happened they say the way they came with the civilization mm. how was africa was <laughs> how of was course. africa was africa was the mother of civilization okay you get the sense mm-hmm. with a lot of people who everything the birthplace of civilization was indian africa the lord lied about us a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of times mm-hmm. you get the sense everything the medicine in sure. africa you sure. get the sense from from natural herbs that were actually converted into chemicals let's talk about all those leadership skills and everything mm-hmm. civilization and everything was bad in here in africa you get the sense sure so we always we, we always want to talk about this but the education system is actually that we actually give it on a planet this is what whatever that we actually taught to think mm. exactly as you are saying there um, so that that uh, what do you think like, always embedded in education because mm-hmm. we are taught 
mm-hmm. um, we're taught this every day. Mm-hmm. So everything else, that's what you were saying, that's what mm-hmm. we, we, we keep on reporting. With it. Education does not just end in school. Mm-hmm. It's outside of school. It's mm-hmm. what it influences it's us. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I also want us to, 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 to go to the, to the last part now where, where I want you to just to give us um, practical ways on how to protect us from to protect ourselves from these things. Remember the the influence of media, the influence mm-hmm. of 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 um let me, let me not say books, but the books that are not actually elevating us right now. Um and also the systems that are not um, made for us to to prosper. That's the right word. Uh how can we protect ourselves from that and how can we keep ourselves sane because most of us most of us are not sane are mm-hmm. insane mm-hmm. right and some of us or, or to, be, to be honest really care about these things they're comfortable uh, with getting those pennies mm-hmm. every month and i'm not comfortable with that mm-hmm. so what do you think we can um we can do today what do you think we can apply today to make sure one we liberate ourselves from this indoctrination which they call education which also makes me think when you say the false and the lies are behind, the lies behind education, literally the truth about indoctrination. Okay. That's what you tell us. So what practical way what practical ways can we apply today to protect ourselves from all these things we've spoken about to make sure that at least um, um the impact of it does not really affect us. I know, I know it's gonna affect us, but to some extent, how can we sort of um, manage that and make sure that we have practical ways to grow to become better and better every day? Okay, like I would say we need to pass on the needs. Me too. Based on the needs. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. About that, uh, like I always say, they always this this whole universe supplies the needs that we need to have. You get the sense? Supply mm-hmm. everything. Every man's needs can be sure. can be can be fulfilled, but there's not every man's greed. You get the sense? Can you repeat we, that? We, we need, we every, need to every, every man's need can be and every, exactly can every be man's the, need. The the universe like sure. exactly supplies sufficient needs for every man but doesn't supply every man's greed sure. you see the point so sure, so sure, this sure. quote was said by mahatma gandhi mm-hmm. if you get the sense mm-hmm. by looking this if we look at this in, a, in this in this way that's when we're going to differentiate uh all the uh, we, we, that's when we're going to set aside all the addictions we have okay we're going to find out the truth sure live up to our potential mm-hmm. and search for our purpose mm-hmm. exactly so sure. by doing so by doing so, we, we are going to create, we, and that's when we're going to create the environment that helps us to think and yeah. free our minds from all the enslavement, mm-hmm. the enslavement to brands, to everything, especially the black people, you get the sense? Yes. They think if you can have a car, the Mercedes car, now we have made it, you get the sense? We want you to, need to brand exactly, ourselves. Exactly, okay. exactly. And then we need to uh, wear ourselves with the most expensive things, with the Nikes, all these shoes and everything, because what's the, what's the, the, the detail behind? because you feel like you're not good enough so that's why you have to endorse yourself with oh you put on all those clothes and this or something so that you can feel that you can be somebody that moment when you start thinking that you have a purpose that you actually live for in this earth you get the sense you're gonna Mm -hmm. to realize Mm -hmm. what you really have to do sure you see the point so basically Mm -hmm. uh we really need to set away if you think like i always say if you think it's not an addiction just turn it off for one week yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying the same thing. Even us, even mm-hmm. not, not only not only with kids, even us, we can't live with our phones. Mm-hmm. Always trying to find out what's trending, who has cheated what's, what's with who. No, da, 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 da. No, no, so what no, we no, can also do? Exactly. So what, what we can also do? Correct me if I'm wrong. From mm-hmm. what you say, you can also fast on exactly. these things mm-hmm. and 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 try and turn them off. Mm-hmm. Or maybe another option that we can find is try and look for positive social media. I think that also can work. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, uh, that's that's true. It's okay. used as an, a platform for active learning, and it's it's, it's great. Mm-hmm. But we have to really disseminate what we really have to feed our brains with. You sure. get a sense yes, that yes. Prin- the brings in the principle of pruning. You get a sense someone who mm-hmm. has self control sure. can actually be a better person. You get yes. a sense. Yeah. We talk about the Daniel Bed Shadrach and Abed Nego. Those four guys, Daniel Shadrach, Meshach, and Abed Nego. Mm-hmm. You get the sense they deprive themselves from the king's food. You get the sense. But after the validation, they actually did. They said they were ten times wiser than the guys who ate on the king's table. Yep, yep, Why yep. is that? Is the principle of what of pruning? You get the sense. Temperance. You get the sense. Yeah. So the main teacher that we can actually go back to is nature itself. So us who are vegetarians, we are on the right track, eh? Basically, <laughs> I can say that. I can say that. Sure, sure. I can sure. definitely say that. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So do you have any, anything else on, on, on practical ways? Okay, on our practical ways, we can apply. also talk about going back to nature. Sure. We have yes, to be principled, exactly. Know your purpose, then yes. rather, and live up to a potential. Try and find not, your purpose. exactly, not being guided by someone's rod or trying to follow someone who would you iconize themselves, they say idols. No, people that are trying to idolize themselves as God is this earth. The only thing God has gave us to us as human beings is free will. You get the sense? Mm. That means you, uh, you always have the capability to get out of the matrix. You sure. get the sense? You cannot follow these educational systems. You get the sense? And live up to your potential. You get the sense? What's your higher calling? The hardest conversation that you can ever do is in this earth, not even with anybody. The hardest conversation, that the most heated conversation that you actually do in this world is with yourself. Ooh, the hardest conversation is with yourself that you can ever have mm -hmm. in this world is, is with, with yourself. yourself. Noisa is the podcast, and we are broadcasting live from Johannesburg. Yo, this was a teaser, bro. This was a teaser. Thank you so much for coming um, on, on the podcast again and for teaching us such beautiful information. And as every day and as every week, as we always do, you become better and better every day. And today, we've learned a lot. Please don't give up on us. Um, thank you for coming. And also, please do come back again. And we would like to learn a lot from you. Thank you so much, Batman. I really appreciate it. No, also, property the podcast. We are broadcasting live from Johannesburg. And we are getting better and better every day by learning from other people's information, learning from other people's um, 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 experiences, and also learning from other people's, what did I say? Information? Experiences, experiences and you're learning from other people's mistakes. This is not so popular. The podcast is broadcasting live. Peace, and we are out.